Hey, this is Kevin from Good Old Boys Fantasy Football Podcast. If you want more information like you're about ready to see, go ahead and hit like and subscribe to support this independent podcast. Quentin Johnson, a 6'3", 208 out of TCU. Uh, the junior was was dynamic for the Horn Frogs, right? He, he is probably the most natural X in this group of receivers this year. He has 4'4 speed, um, is extremely powerful extremely powerful wide receiver his leaping ability uh along with his long arms makes him a very good candidate for contested catch uh balls but he has a quick release out of his breaks right so it's going to help him on some of those quick stops or quick outs or ends you know to be able to create some of that separation um quarterbacks are whoever his team is is going to enjoy developing this young player, right? His, his route tree slightly limited at TCU, um, but nevertheless was very good at what he did. And a lot of his route tree combination that he's going to need to work on is a lot of uh, double move and and solid like corner or post move, right? His, his in and out cutting breaks on the 5, 10, you know, 12 yard in or out breaks, he consistently won those matchups against defensive backs. So they are getting a solid receiver. I expect him to go in the first round, but he's not without his flaws, right? He did have a case of the drops. He is or has been prone to get nicked up a little bit, even with his size. And he does get caught on the line of scrimmage from time to time. He likes to hand fight possibly a little too much at times. So you get some of these elite corners who can kind of get up in his uh, get up in on press coverage and kind of get in his bubble a little bit off the bat. And he's going to have to work on just breaking, breaking that hand fighting to get into his route, as opposed to sitting there and fighting with him and kind of throw the timing off of the offense. Overall, I expect him to go uh, middle of the first round, maybe top 10, but I think that might be a little bit of a stretch given this year's wide receiver class. Um, but Nevertheless, teams are going to be drafting him to be their number one here going forward. So um, I think you could possibly see him fall to maybe New England, but I don't think they want to go wide receiver in the first round. So then I'm looking at possibly um, possibly a Chicago. Again, the Chargers, kind of like Derek alluded on, on Mims, right? They could step in knowing that they need to start getting this replacement for Keenan Allen ready because he's getting a little bit older. Don't know how much longer he has left. Um, but then you could also see a team like, you know, the Jets there in the middle, right? If they're going to add someone else, if they get this Aaron Rodgers deal done and continue to add youth and weapons to Aaron Rodgers, kind of argue up, hey, we're going to do something for you in your first season that Green Bay's never done for you. So uh, very high ceiling, uh, possibly the safest floor of this class, but – he does have his own issues to work on.